The Heinrich Maneuver, R95 is Customs. Classic BMWs tend to be defined by their fuel tanks from the bulky Husky tanks to the elegant, chrome toasters. But the most famous name of all is Karl Heinrich, who was the go-to guy if you wanted a new craft stock tank from the 1960s to the 1980s. Heinrich has lent his name to this remarkable new R90 Custom, constructed by Jeremy Tagan at Dias Custom Sydney Headquarters for BMW Motor in Australia. In stock form, the R90 is the quintessential neoclassic but at first glance, the Dias version could easily be mistaken for a vintage 70s machine. According to Dias Custom's creative director Carby Tuckwell, the project was a coming together of like minds and shared visions and a desire to evoke the spectacular. The biggest drawing part is that exquisite tank, which dominates the lines. Master coachbuilders Moda Retro were given the tricky task of turning the Dia sketches into Heinrich-worthy aluminum. Von Ryan and Giorgio really specialized in hand-shaped timber frames and bespoke fabrication of alloy and steel, and their traditional metal shaping methods have worked the treat. The tank is a work of art, says Harvey. It's scaffold on an internal labyrinth of alloy channels, to offset a considerable fuel load. Which would slosh around like a drug a happy hour if not for surge baffles of plenty. Some Heinrich tanks would have a toolbox built into them. In this case, he has opted for a suede line cover that pops up, revealing the ignition and fuel cap. Matched to the tank is an alloy tail unit with a brown suede covered seat. The subframe underneath it is also new fabricated from square and round section tubing. A neat rear 